Hello guys, how are we doing? Welcome back to the Free Hammers. I just want to say a massive thank you for all the views and all the wonderful comments, you know, very fair, you know, none of you are arguing, you know, you just give your opinions on Moyes in, Moyes out, and, you know, giving solutions on what you should do and it was great to see some Everton fans come over as well and also comment on the channel. Always welcome, I do love opinions and I've read every single one. Um, yeah, but um, today's video is slightly different. You know, after saying about yesterday, you know, what my opinions was on Moyes, I've sort of come, you know, had a little think last night and thought, what are some of the ways that he can, you know, improve his chances, you know, sort of win us back and, you know, and stop the negativity. And that's why this video is called Five Favourites That Moyes Has To Drop, you know, in that Wolves game. You know, if I see the same stuff, I ended the video like that uh, yesterday. If I see the same lineup and the same players that are out of form, you know, not just myself, but I believe a lot of West Ham fans will start losing patience. Um, the first one I'll start with, you know, we'll start at the back. It's got to be Lu Lucas Fabianski. You know, he's getting on now. Um, you know, people keep saying about, you know, Ariola's not had his chance, and you know. <laughs> He, you know, when he has played, he sometimes, you know, has made a few mistakes. That's because he's not playing every week. He's playing, you know, the occasional Europa League game or Europa League conference this season. You know, he needs to be starting now. He needs to be number one. Um, you know, and I want to see it. I want to see him be number one. Uh, you know, Fabianski probably won't be there next year. We need to start these transitions now. Um, you know, and I want to see him in. He's not the main one. You know, I'm not saying that. You know, Fabianski's the main one of the favourites that you know that needs to be dropped, but he's definitely one that you know again could start a change at the club. Um, next one through the defence is Vladimir Sufal. This man is in seriously bad form. Um, another one who cannot pass the ball, can't cross the ball, and it just seems that they've been figured out now. You know, it was all good when we was in a relegation battle. And we needed some fighters. We needed people that were going to work hard, but this guy. He's seriously out of form. Um, again, would Ben Johnson be playing if he was fit? I suppose that's a question mark you have to ask. But again, there's a young boy there that, you know, by all accounts wants to leave the club. And there's probably is because he's not getting the first team football in Harrison Ashby, who could easily fit in in that position um, and do a job. And, you know, every time he's played, he's looked good. So again, if again, it's another favourite that he could drop and this could be a problem that he could solve himself. Um, you could, I could, I didn't put him on the thumbnail, but you could argue that Aaron Cresswell shouldn't be starting anymore. Um, again, another one just caught out now, hasn't got the pace anymore. This Emerson looks okay whenever he's come on. Um, and again, would just give us a big dino. I'm not saying change everyone, but there's five, like the main five is the Sue Fowles, the Fabianskis, and the other three that I'm going to go on to say now. Next one is Thomas Socek. I think there's not a West Ham fan out there that would say that Thomas Socek should be starting a game for West Ham at the moment. The man is awful at the moment, awful. Like you, you just have to look at a few of the highlights recently. There was two occasions on Sunday against Everton where we give the ball away in really, really dangerous positions that could have led to goals. You could see Rice's frustration. He doesn't trust him at the minute with the ball. No player trusts him with the ball at the minute. When he gets on the ball, he's very stiff and rigid. Um, and you know, just I don't know. He just he can't do the simple things. And if you can't do the simple things, it, you know, it, it's very, very frustrating when you work hard to get the ball back. You know, and then you lose it, and then you've got to work hard again. In the Premier League, you have to retain possession. Uh, you know, and those passes have got to be bang on. This is where I'd like to see Flynn Downs come in. You know, put Rice Downs and Packet at midfield. I think that would be quite a you know a steady diamond. You know, Flynn Downs does like a tackle as well. That, that's just. Let me just not say that he's just a pass or the ball. Um, you know, he can, he can put a tackle in as well. So that's something that desperately needs to happen. Like desperate. That that if I had to pick one person out of the five that I'm talking about today that needs to come out of the team, Thomas Socek is my number one. I don't know what your guys' number one is. Let me know. Um, next on the list um, is Jared Bowen. He's just not good enough at the minute. And again, I believe he will come back and I believe he will get good again. Um, you know, he went through a little bit of a patch like this early last season. Then, you know, then he his purple patch and he was scoring for fun and arguably one of our most important players. But at the moment, he's not doing it. And there are players there that can do it. Like I say, I've argued that, um, you know, Mickey could play there. Antonio could play on that right-hand side. 
um, you know, and then you play Skamaka up top just to try something different. The other one is Fornells. Um, you know, again, to defend him slightly, he's having to do the cover because of Cresswell there. So, again, he can't fully commit to the forward line. But again, he, and again, he's one of my favourites, but he's not been good enough recently. And you have got players that have been playing really well on that left-hand side when they've come on. Uh, ben Rama's been, you know, arguably one of our best players this season. Nearly scored the weekend and has looked dangerous every time he's played this season. Um, and then you've got Cornet as well that could also play that. And I think that could be quite a frightening front line, actually. Cornet on the left. Mickey on the right and Skamaka up front with Paquetta behind. I think there's pace in that. There's a player. That, there's players that can pass the ball. You've got Flynn Downs who can do the simple stuff. You've got Rice with the driving ability. This is the sort of thing we need to see. Like again, if he goes with that tried and tried and tested, you know, the old guard. He's just, you know, he's hanging his own noose basically. He. he the patience will run out and you know there would have to be questions for Kuntinsky and Gold and Sullivan you know saying look mate we've we've paid 180 million on players and you're not playing them like what what is what is your idea here and you know and people will go on oh, any time the bloody look at New, Newcastle were playing Isaac straight away um and all the, all the players they're bought Everton at the weekend Cody Tarkovsky Anana Mupai straight in they're doing it like you've got to just sometimes you have just got to throw them in this over cautiousness is killing us because it's it, it's like okay you trust the players that are playing Dave but they're not delivering at the moment so if something needs to happen um is there anyone else out there I think the two centre-backs are fantastic at the moment and you know I, I would trust anyone to play there at the minute I think Oggy or Big Dawson now would, would do a job at centre back so I've got no issue with the two centre backs Declan Rice I, you know I can forgive him because I think he's looking around and he don't trust the teammates around him could he do more in the, in the captain's role in terms of leadership possibly you know is he as influential as Mark Noble um, and I'm not saying in terms of ability because I've always, I always questioned Mark's ability slightly but uh, in terms of the leadership, you, you, there's no way you can question Mark on that. So there's a few, you know, there's a few players that have got to look at themselves. Um, and, and like I say, I, I've slated Mickey for you know a good good six seven months, but he has been one of our better players this year. You know, and I will give players credit when they deserve it. Um, but yeah, some changes desperately need to be made, guys. Let me know what you think. What 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 can Moyes do now? To save his job I'm not saying he's going to watch this video we know he's not going to watch this video but what can he do you know five players to drop does he need to bring Mark Noble back in in a coaching role um, I don't know I really don't know guys but thank you so so much for all the comments yesterday it was a real privilege to read those until next time guys 84 away now from 4k we're going to get there let's go